thank you for coming to Spanish Broom's live stream of Mi Cuerpo, La Tierra, Mi Sangre, El Rio. There will be a Q&A after the show. Our mission is to sustain a collective of artists whose collaboration is a base for creativity, accessibility, and financial support. We strive to share our art and we encourage our community to create with us. We were chosen to make this short film with the city of Albuquerque and uh, visual visionaries um, to be able to show on All Access Channel 27. Spanish Broom chose the Bosque and Rio Grande as a point of departure. We had about a month to film and record all of the audio and video that you see. This is a complete production of Spanish Broom with a little help from our friends. We hope that you enjoy, comment, and have some questions for our Q&A. Thank you for coming to our first live stream. Please feel free to donate by using the link in the chat. We are Spanish Broom. Spanish Broom's perspectives offer unique counts of our individual relationships to the Rio Grande and the Bosque. Through different storytellers, we invite the audience to understand how we are shaped and how we shape ourselves according to these symbiotic relationships. One cannot exist without the other, although the sheer beauty of each is powerful on its own. Similarly, Spanish Broom is a collective of distinct artists, artists, artists but artists, the experiences artists. that we have shared fortify our work. We would not exist as we are without each other. This piece will share a magnitude of perspectives, from folklore to facts, from personal connection to community-wide engagement. We are Spanish Broom, and we out here. Growing up among the cotton giants, I thrashed, cried, whined, laughed, and reconciled. 
Their presence was what grew my gaze and awe. Their existence is what sustains my spirit and brawl. Every spring, the river calls my name. I want to run and jump into its surprising muddy chocolate waters and sit and stare at its rock sand shore. We burn the brush back on the little acequia that runs to our land and we hope that the water will flow one more year. One year I was the fiesta princess and the next I was queen. We went to the old church to ask San Isidro to bring us not only healthy soil, food and grain, but rain. Now that summer is here and the field is hot and I don't want to be there, I complain to my dad that we've been outside too long and run inside even though there is more and more to be done. Sometimes my grandparents or friends would come and we would take them to the bosque, hoping they would also find delight in the tall trees, singing birds, and the coyotes howl at night. The summers were best spent in the bosque playing tag, challenging cousins to swim to the other side, and filming funny, frightful movies. Speaking of fright, one afternoon our aunt came by and walked us straight to the clear ditch, and as the sun set, she told us of a mysterious woman who loves the children so much that she will snatch them and take them to the river, thinking that they are her own, and you will never return home. La Llorona is here as we ran, screaming all the way home. Every fall, the clouds fade to peach and the sandias to pink. The leaves turn gold and the air has a crisp hold. By this time, we have harvested all the garlic and, and onions, but there is still so much more growing. Will the water last another month? Please, just one more for the blue corn and winter squash. If we were lucky, the August monsoons would have helped ease our fears, but most often it did not. Now there is a special treat that comes our way. My brothers and dad have found so many, a beautiful oyster of the bosque. The hongos that we love to eat are either crisp white or brown with a cottonwood tinge. Cooked with butter, garlic, and a little salt, or even better, add some red or green in your breakfast pot. As the fall night hinges upon the day, I'm ready for a rest, but there's still much more to do. Pick all the tomatoes, cucumbers, and squash before the first frost. Roast and peel and pack the green chili. Press the grapes and butcher the turkey before Thanksgiving nears. The corrales cranes are here, my mom exclaims, just as fall now becomes winter. She puts her hummingbird feeders away as the cranes swoop in the fields and rio. If we didn't get it out of the ground, the winter freeze will. Each year is an experiment. As Christmas posadas are sung and posoli is made and ate, family and friends come over to enjoy those beautiful winter nights. The fire is roaring with wood that some years comes from the bosque or other years a neighbor's dead tree. Some winters we get so much snow in our cold valley as it coats the cotton giants and sandias all white. Keep snowing in the mountains, that's where we need it, my dad always says. The sometimes calm in winter always brings me to reflect what beauty I have seen in this one place, what history I have in the Rio Grande Valley, and what care I have received from this forest of cotton giants and surprising waters that has always scared me, hugged me, fed me, reflected me, and loved me. Between the river and my home, the beautiful cottonwoods roam. About to die, they do not cry, for they know what lies ahead.
universo mío, tierra, bosque y río, recibe estas flores de vida y colores. Mamacita, que este día, que es de toda alegría, recibes en estas flores mi amor de noche y de día. A mi abuela, hecha de pureza y de fuerza, recibe estas flores de celebración con bailes y canciones. mío, tierra, bosque y río, recibe estas flores de vida y colores. Mamacita, que este día, que es de toda alegría, recibe en estas flores mi amor de noche y de día. Hecha de pureza y de fuerza, recibe estas flores de celebración con bailes y canciones. Ángel de mi guardia, mi dulce compañía, no te desampares ni de noche ni de día. Y agua cristalina. Mm. 
The Rio Grande ends and merges with the Gulf of Mexico. One side of the river is the United States, originally known as Turtle Island, and the other side is Mexico. Borders are the colonizers' construct to make people on both sides of the border believe we do not belong to each other. To divide, conquer, and then instill an assimilation process is a catastrophic violent act. As we decolonize our bodies, the lands and waters will begin to cleanse. The people on both sides of the Rio Grande will be able to cross its waters without persecution or dying. And the people will merge like the Rio Grande and the Gulf of Mexico. It is one of the greatest gifts and teachings of this river. In fact, people continue to merge by crossing the river regardless of the border. Throughout time, people have crossed this river for love, for labor, for trade, and to escape slavery, traveling south into Mexico at the border of Texas. These specific people were the black Seminoles who escaped slavery into Coahuila, Mexico, where my father is from. Crossing the border is an act of resistance. Somewhere in the center of our hearts, we know the border is wrong for all peoples and for our unborn ancestors. Generational healing means one can heal the past, present, and future of its people into liberation and freedom. This healing is timeless, and we each can heal what our ancestors could not. Indigenous people globally have been able to keep music and dance, medicine, alive through time. Thus, we have not been completely colonized, and the old, deep music will continue to heal us so we can realize who we truly are. The veins in our bodies are the rivers of the world. We are nature, we are life, we are love. May we heal with the music and the medicine. Ashe, homatakyase, homateo.
description to attend our Zoom Q&A, which starts at 1.05. Also, we have posted our link to the donation page below. If you donate up to a certain amount, it's tax deductible. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you at the Zoom Q&A.